It was the people's will. It's been more than two months since voters overwhelmingly chose to legalize the recreational use of marijuana. And in those two months, legislators have failed to get the industry off the ground. As a longtime educator, I wasn't crazy about the idea, but I understand economically. The main sticking point for Assemblyman Eric Simonson and many others remains the same, the younger generation. Do you fear that what happened with e-cigarettes may happen with the cannabis industry? Absolutely. That's why the Assemblyman sponsored a bill heading to the Education Committee in both houses to strengthen current health education for third through 12th grade. The bill would update the learning standards to include the effects of THC, a psychoactive substance in marijuana that produces the high associated with smoking marijuana and which can also lead to central nervous system depression and the risks of driving while under the influence of cannabis or marijuana products. Now that the uh, stigma has been taken away from marijuana and it, it'll be obviously more prevalent in uh, homes that our young people know the dangers of the THC. A bunch of legislators have new ideas on this issue. It's phenomenal, right? Uh, cannabis policy is a whole new world in, in, in terms of where we go. We need to get a law though. We need to get this statute created. We're in this constitutional torment right now. The governor has two bills on his desk on decriminalization and legalization that he believes have unintended consequences for kids and teens, especially minorities and those in underserved areas. That's why they have yet to be signed. We don't want any more kids, particularly kids of color, getting tangled up in our criminal justice system. That's the last thing we need. Uh, and secondly, nobody has ever, including yours truly, spoken about legalizing marijuana, recreational marijuana for kids. We've had constructive engagement back and forth. We just got to find a way to to respect both of those principles. And again, I remain optimistic. E-cigarettes are, are a different bag. First of all, nicotine is a highly addictive substance and it's been completely unregulated on so many levels. Cannabis is the exact opposite. Cannabis has been overregulated for generations. What we've seen in every jurisdiction that cannabis legalization has occurred um, is teen use has gone down. We don't have to reinvent this wheel. Bill Caruso is a lawyer and cannabis reform activist. There are some folks that have been prominent opponents of legalization that continue to hold out. And that's one of the impediments of getting the cleanup bill done. The state has to pass and enact legislation to define any parameters that the commission will use to build the new industry before any business applications on the recreational side can begin. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.